cat's not well. I'm not sure what's wrong. I'm not sure what's occurring. He's eating some food, but he's just sort of lying around. He had a vaccine the other day. Um, I'm a bit putting him off things a bit. Anyway, listen, we'll go and I'll, I'll update you. So this is the current state as he's eating his tea. He's back in the fullness of his health and he's delighted with himself. He never been better. So the cat did a 180, the miraculous kitty recovery. So no thanks in part to being hand fed by me, Egypt, worrying about him like he was my own child. But it's because they're so helpless and they can't tell you and you're sort of sitting there guessing. Uh, <laughs> it's like I actually checked on his breathing during the night. It was like, come on, you all right, babe? Please be okay. So yeah, he's all recovered. He's delighted with himself. He's been hand fed again. Hand fed and it seemed it seemed to make the difference. Was once he had something decent to eat, he just parked right up. He's been out for a wander. Um, he was pacing up and down the fence, checking his boundaries, making sure there were no incursions, and he was delighted. Then, then to top everything, I made a sale. But I just wanted to, to talk about that because of the way this is sort of panning out for me. Now, it turned into a bit of an admin kerfuffle because I actually had it, it showing, exhibiting. There's a cafe up the road for me that did give a space to show stuff in. Um, but it's sold on Facebook, which is turning into a trend for me about where sales are coming from. I've made sales at the cafe fairly steadily. Like if it's not a picture, it might be a postcard. I'm not retiring off, off, off all of these, these earnings, which is a very big word to describe how much I make. But Facebook is very steady as well. I've made a sale on Instagram in the singular and TikTok pushes loads of traffic to the website. So do you see the value in putting an effort into the social media, into posting good quality images of what you've done, loads of detail about what they are, how much they are, where you're shipped to, what the customs work out, how much the custom the customs are going to be built into your price. I have been burned. I was savaged by sending something to Ireland because I hadn't. This was early doors after Brexit. I hadn't checked what the deal was with Brexit. It got caught at the customs. They charged me a stupid amount of money. <clears throat> for what it was they got burned but it taught me so sit down and review all these things for yourself update your website and two years ago whatever it was I would not I would not have had any faith whatsoever that social media would be generating any income for me whatsoever but it does so go away and have a think if you're not fully tooled up with Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and that they're all linked up together. It is fairly easy. Um, it, ju it just takes a bit of time. You know, obviously photograph and everything can sort of do in an inventory. And you'd be surprised how good stuff looks. I mean, it, it makes such a difference when you see it. Then you go, wow, yeah, I didn't notice. And even if you're not making a sale right there and then, you're getting feedback, which is great to hear. And it's good for the soul and it, it keeps you motivated. So there you go. That's all. It's all been go excitement. Maybe this is just now sort of like the build up to Christmas. That people are sort of looking at stuff and, and thinking about and, you know, strike when the iron is hot. This time of the year is, is very often the highlight, the, you know, the peak f for a lot of people for sales. So anyway, listen, that's all the news from here. Like, subscribe. I sound like I am still smoking 40 cigarettes a day, but I just 
sinuses. So yeah, thanks for watching. Cat says hi, feels great. Highly recommend my skills as a, as a cat. Florence Nightingale, stay creative, stay positive, and come back and see me again soon. Bye for now.